Hey y'all! All right, so you're gonna notice I have some strangeness sitting out in front of me here. I won't explain why. <sighs> Hopefully y'all are doing well tonight. So, I talked to y'all a little bit about last night about, you know, with things with the economy and stuff like that, you really need to be smart about how you do things. So, I wanted to show you, like, if you are careful with the supplies you pick, that you can really get a whole lot more out of it than just, like, one thing. So, with that in mind, this is what we're doing. We're gonna use the little interchangeable sign. And I'm gonna show you how this design will work with all of these signs. So we have the welcome, a Merry Christmas. This is the one that we're actually using that has the sign of ribbon set. However, this sign of ribbon set will go with every one of these. We have another Merry Christmas. Welcome with the little doggy stuff. Peace, love, and pause. Fall. Peace, love, and fall. And then I just grabbed a summer one. Rub some dirt in it. And the thing that all of these have in common is the red, black, and white, right? So they all have red, black, and white, which is what our supplies have. Our supplies are red black and white. Our ribbons are red, black, and white. So we have a red and black with a little white on it just says welcome. So very generic. It can go with anything. Then we have a black, a um, white and black plaid, and red. So this is all going to work really well together. Then our mesh we have the black, the white with the black stripes down the edge and the red, white, and black. So you could also, we also, we have more signs than this that would go with this. I just grabbed some so that you could kind of see. But we have like a ladybug, a couple ladybugs that are the same color scheme that you could do as well. Okay, so I didn't grab them all, just some. <coughs> all right. So now, we're going to take and get started. So I'm going to try to come up with ideas and things that are going to help because I know the economy is kind of weird right now. So that's why you're seeing us do more kind of things with sign and ribbon sets because it makes it so that it may not be a kit, but it's gonna make it pretty much the same price as getting a kit. Okay? All right. So we're gonna open up the bottom. How are y'all tonight? Y'all doing well? It's not a kit, but there is a sign and ribbon set that goes with it. And then all the supplies it costs pretty much the same thing as a kit. So, it's Z tonight, and then hopefully Owl is on Facebook. Let's go see how she's doing over there. Okay, so the reason that they're saying hi to um, Z and Owl is because they're on YouTube and Facebook. Um, on here, you just say hi to me. <laughs> But you can catch us on um, Facebook or YouTube live right now, and they're, they're in there. Moderating, answering questions. There we go. Okay. There it is. Okay, yep, she's over there. All right. So, I'm going to do... Let's do the woodland ruffle. I feel like doing the woodland ruffle. Y'all want to do the woodland ruffle? I like it. All right. 
So what I'm gonna do is just start off with three little curls. Then we're gonna take our tool, plop it in. And y'all, you really don't need a clip or anything to use this. It's super lightweight, you see that? And it'll push along very easily. Then I'm gonna take, put this end in, and I'm gonna flip it one good time inside there, like that. And then I can pull it out. I'm never using chip clips to do my ruffles again. I like doing it this way much better. Okay. We, we do have little eight inch curls that we're gonna put in. And we're gonna, let's see, should we, let's, let's mix our colors. We'll mix our colors today. The tool is in my shop. It's just Shop Hardworking Mom. And it's called the Deco Mesh Ruffle Tool. Okay. So we do one, two, at least two good curls. Take our little tool. See how it has the little notches in it? That just helps keep that mesh from coming back out. Okay, so then you just take your thumbs and you're pushing that tool forward, just like this. You know what's really great about this mesh? <laughs> you can use that red line to make sure that you're going right down the center. Pull it back a little this way. There we go. See how I'm just pushing it with my thumb? Then I just put it in. Once I put it in, I'm gonna curl it once, twice, and then I can pull it out, okay? Then I'll place it down. Are you loving it already? Good. So we're gonna spread them out. I like to take them and pull them kind of together like that. That makes them stand up really nice. Then we can take our curls, so the curls are eight inches. The mesh is at 30. And I'm doing it at 30 because I wanna, I wanna do my curls. I like the curls. And let's do, let's do the, let's switch it up. Let's do red and black and the black and white. Okay, so we're just gonna fold over, pinch in the middle. Okay, and we just place it down one whole thing, just like that. I'm gonna trim off the excess here, and then just tuck it under. And then we just pull out our ribbon like this. If you want that red and black to really show up, you can put that on top and put the other one on the bottom it's really up to you there's no rules no rules that say you have to do it one way or the other okay all right and then we'll take the black and white and put it in the red and black that way it'll kind of spread our colors out so this is the kind of the blending of colors, whereas if I did black and white, red and black, that would be color blocking. So I like to kind of spread my colors out sometimes, and sometimes I like to do color blocks. Today we're just gonna do blending. We'll blend today. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty already. I like it. You can ask me, Jenny, just send me um, an email. Just send me an email at Lori, L-O-R-I, at hardworkingmom.com. I'll be happy to help you with colors and picking signs and stuff like that. Not a problem at all. That's my favorite thing. Okay, so we put it in. Once it's in, 
I'm going to twirl it once, twice, and then I can pull it out. Place it down. Look at Zora. She's trying to take over the color duties. <laughs> you can email Zora. Yes, you can. She does have an email as well. We also give lots of um, advice and tips and things in our Everyday Craft Dreamers. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you can join our group. It's free. It's just called Hardworking Mom Everyday Craft Dreamers. It's just a fun little group to... Yes, the cardinal sign would go with this as well. Absolutely. That's the whole point, right? So this is what I would call a all season wreath right because you can use this color combination all year long you just use the correct sign as long as you use the correct sign you got it made i love the colors too i am a business coach i am Sure enough. There we go. So we'll grab our little curls. Get our red and black. Uh oh, who's not feeling well? Yes, I am going to do Christmas in July. Oh, y'all, uh, you were asking when I was going to be back on Pinterest. So, I will be on Pinterest every Tuesday, but not until 9.30. So, we're still going to do our Bow Tuesdays, and then I'll do Pinterest TV. <laughs> yeah. So, we sent, uh, we, I sent Zora <coughs> the little picture from the gingerbread door hanger that we made she'll have to tell you what she thought <laughs> oh no are you tired there is a bug or something that keeps stuck in my leg okay what is it Probably a fly. I don't know about y'all, but the flies are out in drove here. Oh, saw the heat or something. I don't know. They like the heat. What's up with that? Okay, what's your question? What is the little gadget you are using to gather the ribbon? This is called um, a depot mesh ruffle tool. You can get them in my shop. It's just shophardworkingmom.com. So, I made it for some of us who have trouble with our hands. I'm not tired, but boy, my sinuses are horrible today. I swear, it seems like this year has been so bad for sinuses. Have y'all noticed that? Come on over to YouTube. It's doing really well over there. Yeah, I noticed that Facebook was really struggling yesterday. I don't know. They must be having server problems or something. You getting a better spot, Bella? Me, uh, me too, Tiffany. I'm ready to think about Christmas because I'm tired of thinking about the heat. Ugh. you love the new tool. I love it too. So now we're trying to come up with a interchangeable for round sides. We were kind of planning that out this morning. I have so many ideas. <laughs> it just, uh, 
as Casey says, I just need to do a brain dump and get all of my ideas down on paper. I haven't put it up yet, the gingerbread house, but I will. And we're trying to get mock-ups of all the letters so that if you go look at the letter, you'll get a better idea of what your letter will look like. You saw fall and Christmas. I know, right? Yep, because it's that time of year. As soon as June comes around, here comes fall. And then um, as soon as July is here, there's Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it was over 100 here today, too. It is. Oh. The FED. Which ribbon? Hold on, I'll show you the ribbons up close. Let me just get that up. Okay. So there's a red. This one has welcome on it. So it's plaid and it has welcome. Then there's the black and white gingham and a black. So these are all denim ribbons, which means they're stiff and easier to work with. All wire, of course. Oh, we got some new fall and Christmas ribbon in today. I just have to get it listed. And we did get a few more of the black and orange ribbons in that we used a couple weeks ago. It finally came in. I know, Facebook was just struggling, huh? See, look how cute that's going to be. Isn't that going to be cute? Is that your comfort place, Hobby Lobby? I like Hobby Lobby, too. I don't get over there very often, but I do love it. I was in there. When was I in there? Like a week or so ago. Oh yeah, so we're doing, we're going to be doing a bridal bouquet in my group tomorrow night. And I had to go over there and get one of the little holders. You know, the little, the little holder that you put the bridal bouquet in. So the mesh, are, the mesh is cut at 30 inches. And then the little curls that I'm putting in are cut at 8 inches. And the ribbon is cut at 12. Pretty much our standard. That's kind of what I like. Because ever since I started doing the curls, I really like the curls now. Uh, so, yeah. Now, if you don't like to do the curls, inside you can still do them outside just like that and then push it in so either way it works well but I was always doing these using the chip clips which kind of drove me crazy so I just like this better it's just faster and it's already in here and I don't have to get out a whole new special thing. I could never work at Hobby Lobby. I would never bring any money home. Uh, it would all stay there. Am I putting a tube on top of the red? 
I'm putting the red with the, the red curl with the white black and white mesh. Is that what you're asking? I know. It's because they're I think are they Mormon company? I can't remember. Or are they I know they it's something to do with their faith, but I don't know exactly what religion that is. If they're just Christian or I don't know. The Hobby Lobby ribbon, sometimes it's good quality and sometimes it's not. It just depends on what you get. Like usually the ribbon they have for holiday seasons is good, but their regular ribbon that they have, not so hot. Same thing with their mesh. I am selling it now. I sure am. Yep, it's $10. This little tool is $10. And it's sturdy. I had to test it out different scenarios before before I would release it, so. You don't have one of those? Their um, holiday mesh is usually pretty good. Like, they usually have mesh like this during the holidays, but their regular mesh is just basic mesh. Not the best. How can you not love Christmas? You know what I'm saying? I love Christmas. Okay. All I'm doing when I'm getting it at the end is I am curling that mesh a couple times to pull it back out. Yeah, so that's why I created it. I have um, fibromyalgia and I was coming up with it to help with my hands because sometimes they swell and then it starts hurting. Oh, you don't have a hardworking mom's store. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> ah, I gotcha. Well, maybe you should just take a little mini vacation and come here and see me. There's a hotel right behind my studio. That's where the people who come to my retreats stay. So see, I'm just twisting, twisting. I get a good two or three twists in, and then I pull it out. It really does. I will tell you, it does help your hands, because it helps mine. They're not hurting like they were. I would go home at night and my hands would be aching. But they're not doing that now, thankfully. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> you wish you had a hard work mom store in Oregon? Yeah. I wish I was everywhere. You know, it's so funny. We've always talked about having like a, <laughs> like a, like an RV with a traveling store. Wouldn't that be fun? I think that would be so much fun. I can just like travel around. This week I'm going to be in blah, blah, blah. Okay. You're finally getting some rain. That's awesome. The uh, ribbons are cut at 12 inches. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Well, I'm so glad. They 
they are 30 inches. The little wooden wrappers are all 30 inches. Because I like to have the little bit of the curl in it. See, because then it really, really makes it look curly, right? By having that little bit of extra curl in there, it just gives it a lot more interest and appeal, I think. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, do they? Hello Kitty has a traveling store. Oh, that's so funny. I've been to a Hello Kitty uh, store in the mall one time. Never seen another one. Okay. I can't even remember where that was. Where was that? Maybe Atlanta? I don't know. Okay. If I if I ever get around to getting the RV, I'll, I will come to all the places. You would give out to catch me on my way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we could have like an RV wreath retreat. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> it's not a kit, but the um, the ribbons and the sign are in a set. And once you add in the mesh and the wreath frame, it's pretty much the same cost as a wreath kit. So, I'm trying to figure out how I can make it really easy for y'all. We use one roll of each mesh. So two mesh in total. This is all that's left when we're done. So we do use all of it. Oh, in the Tokyo airport, huh? That's kind of cool. I haven't been there. I've been to Germany. I've been to every island that starts with Saint. Odd, I know, but. Like St. Thomas. St. Croix, St. John. Those are the ones that come to the top of my head, but St. Martin. Oh, and I've been to Mexico. Yeah, a couple times. There we go. I started out working in manufacturing for a while. And then I was in hospitals. So I've seen a lot of interesting things. Ah, Texas would definitely be a stop. My brother used to live in Houston. I think it was Houston. Yeah, he used to live in Houston. Okay, so on the top, we're gonna spread out our ribbon and then we'll get to see that little cute welcome. See how cute that is? Oh, you were on your way to South Korea. That's cool, I haven't been there either. Germany is beautiful, and it's so different. It's so different there. You feed me for Christmas? Okay. Yeah, it's so different there. Like they, like their social events are like going out to dinner. Like when they go out to dinner, it's like for hours. It's not like you go out, have dinner, and then you go home. They like go out, have dinner, and then they sit there. That was a, like a culture shock for me. Very fun though. It was very fun. And they sit at like long, at least when I went, they sat at like long tables together. So it was cool. It's always fascinating to see what other countries do. Thank you. I think so too. 
I knew it would be. One of the reasons that, so when I first was thinking about this, I was going to do a black mesh. And then I thought, no, a black with white. Then I thought, no, the white with the black would be better because that contrast is really going to make it not be dark. Because if you wanted to use this, like say at um, Easter or Valentine's or something like that, the white helps to make it so it's any season. It can be Christmas, it can be Easter, fall, Valentine's. Summer, right? So we have the little rub some dirt in it, which is summery. Ladybugs are summery. The Cardinal, that's a winter one. There's um, Snowman. You could do Snowman with this same theme. Makes it fun. I have always wanted to go to Canada. I've never been. I am going to make it there one of these days. It's happening. I don't know when. But Sunday, Sunday it's gonna happen. All right, so we're still spreading them out against each other up here. And when you're doing it up here, make sure that you're checking that you're not squashing the bottom because a lot of times it's gonna want to. Just kind of make sure your curls are still pulled out. You'll have to straighten your little tails at the end because they're gonna get squashed as you're going around. But that's okay. Can always be fixed. Right? There we go. I know when I come, I'm coming to see you, Ava. That's happening. <laughs> In Germany, I went to um, Frankfurt, and Kitzigen is where I stayed. That's the I worked for a German company, and that's where their headquarters were. They were a second-tier supplier for um, Mercedes. We actually made like all the seats and stuff, consoles and all that. Oh, thank you. I am. I like to go on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok all at the same time. Because I just think that's fun. I'm making you want to wreath now. See, you need to wreath. That's my therapy. I need it. That's what keeps me sane. In that right belly. She sacked out. <laughs> she is totally sacked out. What's it say? I do sell them. Yes, I do. Although I have to tell you, I have a lot of catching up to do to get these listed because. We've been so busy lately, I haven't been doing that. But that's my plan soon.
So y'all, I took a wall down in the studio and I've had a couple people out this week so I haven't been back over there but it's so much bigger over there since we took that wall down. Wow. It's in the back so it's really just storage but uh, you can get them on. They're usually listed on my Etsy shop. It's just what is my Etsy shop? It's a design by HWM. And if you don't see the one you want, you can just email me. It's just uh, Lori, L-O-R-I, at hardworkingmom.com. Thank you. I like it. I love these colors, though. These are kind of... These are just amazing colors, I think. Okay. There we go. See, when I ruffle them together, it helps them stay kind of up a little bit so that they don't want to sink in the middle as much. They're still going to sink some, but not as much as they would. You have a Canadian coat that goes to negative 45? Oh my gosh. Have you ever been in negative 45? That's pretty dang cold. I put it upside down too. You aren't doing it wrong. For the woodland ruffle, you do put it upside down. So you're doing it right. hard to see like especially with a lot of mesh because they kind of look the same on both sides but yep you were doing it right for the woodland ruffle anyways for the other ruffle where you're just ruffling it you put it like face up that's pretty cold I don't know about that I don't think I want to do quite that cold. Minus 40? That's just painful. <laughs> I just think that's painful. Good evening. There we go. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I like these colors. I even like the sound mesh makes. <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't even really get down to like 20. You did it good. See, look. So this is, this is like the, what you would call the good side, right? This is the good side. This is the bad side. Although, honestly, it looks the same. But you can tell that you're using the right side when you're doing the woodland ruffle because it's going to want to curl in on you. So you see how it wants to curl in? So that's the side you want it on. That's why I put something heavy down there. So it's not trying to curl while I'm trying to, while I'm trying to curl. Because that just makes it frustrating. So see, you were doing it right. Yeah. I love the cold too, but yeah, I don't, anything below 20, I think. Yeah, zero degrees or something like that, that's just too cold. I like snow too, but I don't want it every day. But once a year would be absolutely amazing. Hey, hey, Susie Brown. You still got your sale going on, Susie? Y'all make sure if you haven't gotten the mesh roller, you get it now while she has it on sale. Just go to Susie's Recent Things. That's where it is. This is the mesh roller here. If you're not one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, it's right here. They do, right? It's because we have the light against the dark, and so it really helps to cool down the red and warm up the white. So it has that great contrast effect. You don't do humidity well? Well, don't come down here. 
<laughs> it's hot. And the humidity is just bad. This one will have to do both sides. Yeah, so I worked at um, Tyson Foods for like six years. I was over their accounting department for four locations, and every year, at the end of the year, we had to do um, <coughs> an audit. And the auditor, we had to do like a count and all the freezers and everything but one of the freezers we had was a blast freezer and you go in there <laughs> and everything you have including all your nose hair freezes immediately it is the most miserable thing I've ever done Woo! that was that was not fun man people who do that on a regular basis they're they're made of some tough stuff What's that say? How much is the tool? The tool is $10. And it's light enough that it'll fit in a first class. So it's about $13.50 once you put the shipping on. It's not bad at all. You wear a t-shirt and shorts year-round and a jacket? Yeah. <laughs> I understand. The tool, is that what you're asking? It is the Deco Mesh Ruffle Tool. We invented it pretty recently. I am doing the woodland ruffle, yeah. I sure am. And we're putting an extra ruffle inside it because it's just fun. This is our last one. Sorry, my husband keeps texting me, but I can't text him back. He went to a, somebody in his office retired, so they had a retirement party for him tonight. So he must just be getting home. Oh, how stinking cute is that? All right, so you can see how nice and thick this is. Can you see that? Let's see, that way. Oh, and I really like how these white with the black edge really sticks out really well. We're going to do a spider bow tonight because I had the um, that really cute one we did with the harvest pumpkin sitting over here. And I was looking at that bow and I was thinking, that's what we're doing. I want to do another one of those. I love that bow. It's just like my favorite bow. Is it? Yeah, see, I like red and black. You could even do, so like if you were a, a University of Georgia fan, right? This would work for this too. Anything red and black. This could probably even pass for Gamecocks just because their color's really kind of more like a burgundy, but you can kind of get away with red. That's, that's so funny because I was just saying, it could be, it certainly could be a Gamecock wreath. Okay. So we'll just start by folding our ribbon over. We're gonna cut at an angle towards that wired ribbon. So you should come out with a little triangle after you cut it. 
Okay, so let's do an eight inch tail. Why don't I want to do a long tail? Because with the, let's even do smaller. Let's do like seven inch. With the spider bow, you want small tails because the point is to make the bow kind of round. And so to do that, you need smaller tails. The way this works is you're going to start your ribbon tails, okay? You're going to end up with two ribbon tails on the same side, and then you're going to switch, and your ribbon tail is going to go over here. All right, so let's do six inch. Okay. Six. And the other thing that's probably a little bit different than we normally do if we're not making one of these is the tails go on each side instead of out in front. Okay. So shorter. Right there. It's good. That may even be too long, but that's okay. We'll fix it later. Let's do... So I want to end off with the red and black and the black and white up in the top. So now you see here's our tails. So now we go on this side for our tails, okay? So, short again, because it's very important that these look like, like even when you loop them over like this, it can even look like a bow loop. It's one of the reasons why I really like this. Okay, six again. I love the spider bow too. This spider bow is strictly the Lisa bow, so we won't do anything other than the three loops on each side. Okay. Now, this ribbon, look what it has. It has words on it. So we're gonna have to be really careful that we make sure we're flipping the ribbon so that you can read the word. Okay? So start with our small tail. See how we're going back to this side. All right, so I have the welcome coming this way. So when we come over to this side, we're gonna flip this one. So you see how when you do it, this welcome says, Welcome that way, and this welcome says welcome that way. So to do this, you can either go this way or this way. You're just going to pull it and twist it one more time, right where it meets that bow maker. And by doing it on this side, then we only have to do it once as opposed to doing it twice on this side. Okay. That's how you get your words correct. Okay. Okay. Trim that off. You see how we want it short? I think this is too long. Yeah. That one might be okay. Okay. You can go ahead and spread them out. So you see how this works. There's two loops, then one loop in the middle, then two loops, and one loop in the middle. On this side, there's one loop, then two loops, right? then one loop, and then there'll be two loops. So they kind of even out. So our tails are here, so now we're gonna start here. <laughs> you did? That's awesome. See, it's awesome. Because when I first started, my words were always backwards and upside down and it took me forever to figure out how to do that. I could do it in my hand, but I couldn't get it to work in a bow maker. So it took me a little while to figure it out. But then once I figured it out, I was set for life. Because I could always do that. All right. Let's get out of the zip tie. Okay. Pipe cleaner. Let's see. Did you have a question? Oh, thank you. 
This is a spider bow. See, what's really great is when you finish the bow, these little things will come up in the middle like that. Oh, I just love it. Did it take you 15 minutes? Yeah, once you get it, once you get the technique, then you have it forever. It's like riding a bike, right? So you just have to practice until you get it. So sometimes when you're trying to do this, one thing you can think of is you twisted it to get to that, to put it in the middle, you're just untwisting it. So twist, untwist. I think it's easier to remember it that way. Okay. So we look for our indention that the bow maker made. Hold your ribbons lightly or they're gonna slide with it. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a minute to make sure my tails are where I want them to be. It's harder to move those once you get it tighter. It's not impossible. Just a little bit more difficult. Okay. Then we're gonna push it down, run our pipe cleaner through, and pull it super tight. Once we have it, I'm just gonna leave all these things at the bottom. That way I can hold my bow in place while I'm fluffing it. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna break the bow. All that means is I'm gonna get this so it's not stuck down in there. So I'm gonna pull and twist, pull and twist. If you made your zip tie tight, it's not gonna come loose. So just make sure it's tight and then you shouldn't have a problem pulling on that ribbon, it's not gonna hurt it. You can also take that time to get a stubborn ribbon in place if it doesn't wanna go in place. You can also kinda fix any of your loops if they get out, like one's longer than the other. There we go. Okay, so once we have that part done, then we pull our tails and get them to go under and spread out so that it almost looks like we have loops all the way around. There we go, like that. See, there's a little red one. See how it kind of makes the bow look more rounded? You can't make a bow Yes, you can. I could teach you to make a bow with your hands. But you know what? You don't have to. That's what they make bow makers for, right? Let me open this up a little bit. Whoops. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so see how these three on top kind of make that little kind of stand up? And then you just kind of pull your ribbons and you pull your tails like this. See that how it makes it more rounded? I just noticed y'all couldn't see, so like that. This is why, you see why you need to have shorter tails? Because it's not gonna work if you have longer tails. Like see this one is still too long. So let's trim it off. You see how perfect it is if you have those shorter tails? Then the bow looks really big. So you can use less ribbon, but still have a nice big bow. How am I using the tool for the mesh? Let me get the, um, let me get the bow added and I will show you. Okay. So I'll put the bow here. I'm just gonna go right around Bugs. There's a fly in here who's driving me crazy. There we go. Thank you. There we go. All right, so we have it tied down. And I kind of tend to just pull my ribbon loops up a little bit. For one thing, this is going to help you see that there is a bow there, right? Because it's standing up. Someone asked how I use the tool. So let's see. Here's a piece of mesh. Okay. Let me show you. 
put that right there. All right. So we'll cut a couple pieces and I'll show you a couple different ways. All right. That one. So the two ways I've been using it is one to make just standard ruffles. All I do is the same way I'm always doing it. Okay, kind of pull it out. I tuck that edge under just a little bit and I take the tool. I'm going to put deco mesh right through the tool and then I push it with my thumbs using my fingers just to kind of keep it straight. Just like that. You can also push it against your body and kind of, you know, pull the mesh into your body like this, and that will help as well. And then you just grab it, pull it out, just like that. So that's one way. Put that over there. And then the other way, thank you, is to do the woodland ruffle. So we'll just take it. We'll do our curls, like two good curls. Then we'll put it in, same thing. So I'll show you the other way. So I just hold it with my body and just use my fingers to pull it in. Then once that I get it in, I'm gonna curl this side. One, two, and I'm actually curling it inside the tool. So there you go. You can see two different ruffles. Thank you. All right, now let's play with the sign. Okay. I was leaving the sign for last because we have to use the stapler. And you know how Bella feels about the stapler. All right, so we're gonna be using this. We made this little interchangeable frame so that you could do what we're talking about doing here, okay? So the way this frame is made is all it does is it provides you with some wood backing to put it on a wreath. And you see how this is open right here. This is plexiglass, okay? So I can take a sign, put it in. You see how it kind of flaps over the sign so it's not gonna come out, but it's open so I can just stick my thumb in, pull the sign out, Put the next sign in just like that pull that sign out put the next sign in just like that sign out sign in so you could do it this way and pull the sign sideways or you could do it this way and pull it from the top so the reason we made this is because i wanted people to be able to do like one wreath and then change out the sign so you're not always having, like you don't always have to buy a new wreath, right? For those who are selling wreaths, it gives them kind of a leg up, right? They could sell it as a four season wreath with four different signs. So that was the idea behind it. All right. So there are a couple of ways you can attach this. Yes, she will run and hide. You know it. <laughs> this is um, adhesive zip tie mounts. It has a little tab on it. Okay. Pull this off and it has an adhesive. See? And you could take that and you can use that. And then you would take your pipe cleaner and right through it goes. Okay. So that's one way. Right? And then you would just twist your pipe cleaner on, you're gonna use that. The other way, so this is two pieces of one fourth inch um, wood. So you can staple it. As long as your staple is not more than a quarter inch, it's not gonna go through. This is plexiglass, it's not gonna break. One, 
to, it's okay, Bella, I'm done. So I've stapled that on. So in the south, we have high humidity. So these don't work really well in the south. So we tend to staple. So this is just an aero stapler. They're not very expensive. You can get them from Walmart, Amazon. And then I just use the quarter inch staples. Okay, so you can see two different methods here. I would do like one at the top, one at the bottom. All right, so the sign, so see these are some of the signs that would go really well with this. See that one? That one, kind of put them over here so I can see what I'm doing. That one, isn't that cute? Look at their little hats. For the dog lovers. Then this is a fall one. See, it says peace, love, and fall. Look at that pumpkin. I'm obsessed with that pumpkin. I really like that pumpkin. Summer, rub some dirt on it. This is the one we're using. So this one is welcome. It's got little pumpkins. And I just put like, so the truck is black and white. I put red and black in the back of it so it would all coordinate. So this will be the one we're using. So we just slide it in, super easy. And if you're curious, the frame is $12. So it's not, it's not expensive. Okay. But what it does do is it adds value to your wreath, right? So then your wreath becomes something that can go through several seasons, which someone might be a lot more willing to buy than just, you know, if you're selling them a wreath that's, let's just say for argument's sake, the wreath is $100. If you're selling them a wreath that's $100 and they're only gonna be able to use it one season, that's not all that great, right? But if you add, let's say $10 for each sign and they can make it four seasons, well then they're not having to spend $100 each time. They're spending $100 and then maybe like $10 for each sign. So you see the difference? It's the value that's added. Oh, thank you. The red and white welcome sign? This one? Could you not find it listed? Is that the one you're talking about, Kathy? It should be listed. Uh, if you can't find it, just email me. I'll send you a link to it. All right, so I went right in between these little layers to add it in, and then I will take this one, and I'll kind of sneak it in the middle, and I'm just going down to the frame and tying it right on. Uh, I don't know if I've listed the dog bone sign, but I will list it here in just a little while. Okay, so I always shake. Everything's on there securely. Okay, I have to kind of pull this, make sure these are pretty even. Now watch. We've got it on the wreath. I just stick my hand in here, pull it out, grab the new sign, and it goes. Ta-da! You see how easy that is? So this was the whole point of this. So we're working on one for the round signs so that um, you can do the exact same thing, same concept. It'll just be for round signs. So that one's a little bit more complicated, so we have to work on that a little bit, but this will help you help yourself and help your customers. See like that. So you can't tell that it's an interchangeable sign because it just looks like a regular sign. What y'all think? I love it. I love the sign. I just love that. It's so cute. I like black and black and white, red and black, and I like red and black and black and white together. So can't go wrong with that. Yeah, so the, um, the signs are unfinished, right? 
So we probably will be offering them in different colors, just not yet, but you can, they can be painted. They can be painted. They're just regular wood. Is it the one that had the, like it had little like swirly things at the top and the bottom? I was wondering if that's the one it was. Yeah, we'll have to put an option on there for personalizing the, the little frame. Yeah. Yeah, she's sleeping on the couch. Well, she's not sleeping. Well, probably that stapler woke her up. <laughs> and she's giving me the eye. She's like, are you going to do that again? I do have a website. It's just um, shop hardworkingmom.com so yep just like on my shirt just shop in front of it <laughs> all right so it's supposed to be kits yeah so usually when we're done with the kit we go ahead and list the sign so if it's one that we didn't if you can find it you can put more than one wreath uh, sign in here you can put up to four the only thing I will say is it does get kind of heavy on the wreath when you put the signs in here but look you can put four signs in all right and these signs just so y'all know so these signs are sublimation signs so what that means is that um, you can scratch these and it's not going to come off. It is actually bonded with the polyester coating on the sign. The signs that fit the frame are just seven by nines. They're in my shop as well. But yeah, you could sell it with all four signs in there and then they can just take out the ones that they want. I just want you to, to understand that it's going to make this, this wreath a lot heavier because it has the four sides in it. But other than that, they'll fit in there. <laughs> they will fit in there. Oh, hold on, here you go. So you can put four signs in. You see how you just stick them in there like this. Just like that. All right. And these do not fade in the sun the signs by the way they are weatherproof because they're sublimated and of course the plexiglass helps too oh feel better all right y'all I hope y'all have a great night and yeah we have awesome signs we work really hard we make our own designs and we make them so they match the ribbons and things like that we have and we do a lot of um, sign and ribbon sets so that we have all of the ribbons that are matched to the signs so that it makes it easier for you. You don't have to go looking for the ribbon to match it. And it's exactly the right amount of ribbon to do a wreath. And then you don't have like a lot of extra ribbon and you're not having to pay as much. Yep. We do have everything for this wreath in our shop. We sure do. And there should be links <coughs> Owl could share those links. And uh, if you get on our email list or um, join our texting app, then we always send out all the stuff that we're going to be making ahead of time. If you want to join the um, email list, you can just, if you want to just text the word L I V E to 864. 465-8401 and say add me then we can work on getting you we can send you a link to join the email list <coughs> yes please give me thumbs up or hearts we love hearts awesome all right y'all have a great night so tomorrow we'll be on at um five o'clock and for my group members we'll be on at seven and again on Friday. All right, y'all have a great day. 
Bye, y'all.